Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the first part, I gave you an introduction to JavaScript. I'm covering everything step by step from scratch to advanced in this particular series. So make sure that you don't miss out on any episodes. This is part two of the series. Today we are learning how to insert JavaScript into any page. Very basic. But at the same time, like I said, I'll cover everything that you need right from basic to advanced. Following is the playlist I have planned for you around 43 episodes so far, but I'll keep adding as we progress. Today we are learning very basic step, which is how to insert JavaScript. JavaScript can be inserted or included in your HTML pages easily. There are two ways that we can insert JavaScript into HTML pages. One is to have an internal JavaScript. The second option is to have an external source, which is linking to a file. Both are equally important. Both have their own importance in a certain way. And I'll cover both as we start the hands on. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to create a new folder for us so that we can keep all the code and I'll share this link with you. So I'll say learning JavaScript. All right, so let's navigate to that folder. OK, I'm in that folder. I'll close the terminal. We don't need it now. Inside this folder, learning JavaScript, we'll create a, our first file. Let's call it index.html. All right. Now, the most basic thing is you know that HTML is inserted in a JavaScript, in a HTML file. So you will have a basic HTML structure which would look like this. Okay, any HTML page would look like this basic structure. And again, it will have some elements. Let's say a title and we'll say learning art tutorials. To run it, just open it in any browser of your choice. All right, I'll recommend use browser Chrome browser. That way we can use developer tools. So this is just a, if you right click and see the page source, you can see that the HTML code and the uh, element, which is an H, H1 tag. Now we are learning how to insert JavaScript. So in the head section, we have two options. Like I told you, we can either have an internal JavaScript or an external JavaScript. So first, let me show you internal JavaScript. So if you want to write any code that is specific to this particular page, you will write internal script because it is applicable only to this file. OK, now inside this, you can write your logical code, whatever it would be. I'll say welcome to learning arc tutorials. OK, don't worry about what this is and what it is doing at this point. Today we are learning how to insert JavaScript. OK, just type this line and stay with me. So this code, when I run it, it will execute this particular piece of code of JavaScript. All this is doing is in the browser console, log the message. Welcome to Arc Tutorials. Go back to your browser and just refresh the page. You don't compile. You don't do any kind of, a, you know, a programming build, etc. for JavaScript. JavaScript runs in your browser. That means the moment you refresh, the code is available in your browser. So you can see that by right click, view page source, and you can see the script that we added. To see the output, again right click and click on inspect in Chrome browser. This would be inspect developer tools in Firefox, Edge, etc. But in Chrome, you will right click and say inspect and go to console you can see a tab this window may be down if you are using it here but anyway it would be available as part of the browser now <clears throat> let me move it back to the side so you can see it clearly so you will see the elements which is the page source and you would see console which is where you are seeing the message welcome to learning our tutorials now this message is coming from our script. You can see here. This is called internal 
JavaScript because it is only applicable in this file. It will only execute when you run this particular file. The second option is the external JavaScript. To do that, there is a script tag. Again, you will use the same, but right now you will then give a link to the script source file. Okay, so all the JS files will be created with the extension .js, scripts.js. And in this, I'm going to write console.log hello from external JavaScript. And you can just include that source in the, you will give the path of that particular external JavaScript file and you will use it using the script source attribute. Again, you will go back to the browser and refresh. And now you can see there are two messages. Welcome to Ar learning Arc tutorials, which is coming from internal JavaScript. Hello from external JavaScript, which is coming from your external file. That is this JavaScript file. Okay. So these are the two ways that you can include JavaScript in your applications. I hope this is clear and where do we use them? Like I said, when you want to write common code, which means a code which can be shared between different files. Let's say I have one more file. I'm calling it home.html. I'll copy it as it is. And I'm going to say welcome to our tutorials home page. This is home page. Now I'll delete this and I have only external link to this file also. So what you're learning is very, very important here. There are two HTML files. I'm including scripts.js in both the HTMLs. So whenever you have common code, which needs to be available across different pages, you will create external file. But wherever you need specific JavaScript code in a certain page, you will use internal JavaScript. That's the logic behind. So let me show you the output of home.html and you can see it says hello from external JavaScript because in the view page source, if you see, we have included scripts.js. You can click on it and see the source code also. All right. So those are the two ways <coughs> that you can include JavaScript in any HTML file. I hope it is clear. I hope you are with me. Do let me know if you have any questions. In the next episode, I'm going to cover a little bit more deeper into the developer tools, show you the console elements, page source, etc. That is how to see the output. All right. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're learning. Uh, do let me know. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have questions or doubts. Thank you and see you in the next episode.